You're not supposed to see this. Factory Founder gives you exclusive access inside factories where precision decides everything. Gold begins as ordinary rock, buried deep beneath the surface of the earth. Formed under immense pressure and heat over millions of years, invisible, indistinguishable, and seemingly worthless until industrial force intervenes. Massive drilling rigs fracture the ground, controlled explosions loosen the rock, and giant excavators tear gold-bearing ore from the earth, loading it into haul trucks capable of carrying hundreds of tons at a time. These trucks move continuously, following optimized routes toward processing plants where every load is weighed, sampled, logged, and digitally tracked before it is allowed to enter the refining system. Once inside, the raw journey begins with primary jaw crushers applying extreme mechanical force, breaking boulders into smaller fragments as steel jaws close again and again without rest. The crushed rock moves along conveyor belts into secondary cone crushers, where pressure is carefully controlled to reduce particle size even further, ensuring uniformity for downstream processing. From there, the material enters ball mills, giant rotating steel cylinders filled with hardened grinding media, where rock is pulverized into fine slurry, freeing microscopic gold particles trapped deep inside mineral structures. Water is added continuously, transforming solid material into a dense, flowing mixture that is pumped through kilometers of reinforced steel pipelines, driven by high-pressure centrifugal pumps that never stop. Gravity heavy separation systems take over next, using physics rather than force, allowing heavier gold particles to settle while lighter waste material flows away. and thickener tanks slowly concentrate the gold-rich material by removing excess water under constant sensor monitoring. At this point, mechanical processing ends and chemical precision begins as the concentrate enters sealed leaching tanks where cyanide solution dissolves gold at the molecular level, a reaction carefully accelerated through controlled oxygen injection while pH, temperature, and flow rates are monitored second by second. The gold-bearing solution then passes through carbon adsorption columns where activated carbon traps dissolved gold ions, capturing value invisibly, while barren solution moves on for treatment and reuse. Once saturated, the carbon is transferred into high-pressure elution systems where heat and chemistry strip gold back into liquid form, concentrating it further before it enters electro-winning cells where electricity replaces chemistry, forcing gold ions to plate onto metal cathodes under precisely regulated current. The recovered gold appears again for the first time as thick sludge, scraped from cathodes, collected, filtered, dried, and prepared for extreme heat. Inside induction furnaces lined with refractory material, temperatures climb beyond 1,000 degrees Celsius as gold melts into glowing liquid metal, impurities rising to the surface as slag and being mechanically removed. Leaving molten gold dense, heavy, and pure. Robotic systems tilt crucibles, pouring molten gold into calibrated graphite molds where it cools slowly, crystallizing into solid bars whose weight, structure, and integrity are constantly verified. Once cooled, the bars move through trimming, cleaning, and surface preparation stations where excess material is removed, steam cleaning eliminates residue, and laser scanners confirm exact dimensions.
Electro-refining follows for ultra-purity, dissolving and redepositing gold atom by atom until 99.99% purity is achieved, verified by spectrometers, fire assay laboratories, and redundant testing systems that tolerate no deviation. Approved bars are polished, visually inspected, stamped with serial numbers, hallmarked for origin and purity, micromarked for anti-counterfeiting, and digitally logged into secure databases that permanently record every detail of their creation. Finished gold bars move through fortified corridors into climate-controlled vaults, where robotic systems stack them precisely under constant structural and environmental monitoring, protected by layered security systems that never sleep. Some bars are prepared for shipment, packaged, documented, and transferred under armed escort to banks, central institutions, and global markets. while others remain stored for decades under engineered conditions designed to preserve absolute stability. At the same time, refineries recover gold from scrap materials, recycle offcuts, treat chemical waste through neutralization systems, process slag mechanically, filter emissions, and monitor environmental impact continuously, proving that modern gold manufacturing is as regulated as it is powerful. Non-compliant material is never wasted. Bars that fail tolerance are re-melted, re-refined, and re-verified until perfection is achieved, while production lines adapt to different global standards, casting large central bank bars, smaller investment bars, or rolling gold into sheets for coin production. Gold sheets are annealed, punched into coin blanks, weighed individually, polished, struck under immense pressure, inspected optically, certified, and packaged. transforming refined metal into circulating currency and collectible assets throughout the process. Control rooms act as the brain of the operation, where human operators guide machines through data, experience, and judgment. A 
adjusting systems by fractions while massive equipment executes tirelessly. Shifts change, people rotate, but the refinery never stops. Cycling continuously as machines are inspected, lubricated, cooled, reset, flushed, recalibrated, and prepared for the next wave of raw ore. Energy infrastructure feeds megawatts of power into crushers, mills, pumps, and furnaces. Cooling towers vent heat, exhaust systems filter air, and data servers archive every temperature, pressure, and yield long after production ends. Even after peak output, conveyors rebalance loads, vault systems regulate climate, Gold bars are periodically re-inspected, and logistics systems prepare for the next movement of material, because gold refining is not an event, it is an industrial cycle. Millions of years of geological formation are compressed into hours of controlled force, chemistry, heat, and discipline. Transforming rock into liquid, liquid into metal, and metal into value. After all the motion, noise, and energy, gold becomes still inside the vault, unchanged by time. protected by systems designed to last longer than generations. And as the factory stands calibrated, powered, and ready for the next million tons of rock, one industrial truth remains undeniable. Gold is not found, it is manufactured. <laughs> 